Hey guys, this is Game Demo reporting for duty. Today we're gonna take a walk down memory lane and play a bit of Master of Orion. This is one of my favorite games. I used to play it excessively when I was younger. And it's been out for quite some time, as you can see, 1993, so that means 23 years. Yep, that sounds about right. Uh, it's a strategy game that happens in space. So it's turn-based. And it's a bit like Civilization, but it's uh, it has planets and ships and shooting and monsters and uh, supernovas and stuff that's super fun. So let's get started. We're gonna push new game. So galaxy size, that just means how many planets you want and how big the space, uh, big of a space you want. I'm gonna go with huge, that means more planets. I like more planets. Bigger space, more stuff to do. Uh, the disc isn't gonna be longer, so it's gonna take longer to win the game. It's gonna take longer to travel with your ships to shoot the enemy and, and such things. But it's still, it's more fun. Now, uh, in regards to difficulty, uh, there are five possibilities. Impossible is the hardest one. And this is if you want to be super macho, then you can go all impossible on it. But that means you have to be very careful with everything you do and be tedious about your playing. And it's not as much fun. It's it's cool when you win impossible. You're like, oh yeah, I'm so cool, I'm the best. But I think it's more fun to play, let's say, average. So um, it's a yeah, it's a lot easier, but it's still gonna be still gonna be hard, a little bit hard at least. Uh, opponents, I'm gonna take five. That means more people to play with, more people to fight, more people to kill. So yeah, it's what I'm gonna do. Mm. Now, next thing we're gonna do is choose our race. Humans is supposed to be one of the best ones, and they're the diplomatic, uh, yeah, super minds. And that means they get, they get possibly get voted in the end. So they're gonna be like, yay, you're the ruler of the galaxy, and you can win the game by becoming the ruler of the galaxy. That means you're not, uh, you haven't killed everybody. And um, in my opinion, that sucks. So I don't like that. Um, the other ones that are very good is Cylon. They are the research uh, superheroes. And it's, it's okay to play them. It's fun. You research everything, you get the biggest guns, you shoot everybody. And yeah, yeah, it, it's, it has its funs. But Silicoid, which is an average champion, it's a, uh, yeah. It's not as good as silent or human, but it's, it's uh, in my opinion, the most fun. Because you can build your planets everywhere. You don't have to research to be able to build on a barren or on a radiated planet. You can just do it right away. And you can get all the planets. It's like going to a shoe store. You get all the shoes. Or you can just get the shoes that are according to your race. No, 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 no. I, I want all the shoes. So, yep. We're going silicoid shoes. And what color do we like? I kind of always go purple. I think it's probably because I'm a girl, you know, I I, I don't know how to say it. I, I really think it's it's almost pink. So yeah, let's go purple. And Karnax. Oh no, I, I'm going Simon. Simon? Yep. So I can go Simon Sass with everything I do. Mm -hmm. And Homeworld is always number one. I like to keep track of my planets. It's just... Uh, <laughs> it probably sounds very weird to name them, them <laughs> in uh, the, the range of when you created them. But if I do it like this, then I know which is my oldest planet and probably the best planet because it has been going on for the longest time. And also, if I lose a planet, I will actually notice. If they have some weird names, I can't remember even what planets I have when I have like 30 of them. So if I, if I see that 25 is missing, then I remember, oh my god, they took 25. And I go after their lucky charms, as you should. So let's see. Um, in the beginning, we always want to know what is the range to the next buildable planets. And we don't know anything about the planets that are around us right now, because we need to scout them first, we need to look at them. Uh, this one is two parses away, this is three, and this means our colony ship can go there. We can go up to three pars parsecs, I always say parcels. I'm, I'm gonna say parsecs from here, here on out, so it's like three turns away. Uh, this is four, this is outside of a range, and six, and four. So now we have to choose a planet for a colony ship, because I just like to get started right away with building. So I just send my colony ship off, off in, the, in the first turn. Um, I normally go with the green planet. Um, yellow can be very good as well, but I don't know. Green, money, I don't know, it just, it just tempts me. Um, it just tempts me, yeah. I'm gonna go with the green one this time. And if the yellow one is good, then I'm gonna keep my scout there for reserving it and uh, yeah 
Well, what I mean by reserving it is if an enemy is gonna come to the planet with his scout and my scout is sitting there, they're gonna run away, scared, hiding behind their mommy. mommy. Um, the reason is I have no idea. Probably because neither ships have any guns. So they know there's there's no fight to be had. So I just, you know, I pretend to be the big guy and I just reserve my planet and scare them away. So yeah, I've sent my colony ship down here to green. I've sent my scout up here to yellow. And let's take a look at our planet. Uh, number one has a population of 100. Well, that means we can have a population of 100. We have a population of 50 right now. And our production is 43. We want to get that one up. And production gets upped with industry right here. So we're putting, we're putting it up by 4.3 each year or each turn. Defenses, this means if somebody's attacking you, you can have some uh, guns that are shooting from the ground. This is good later on. Ships, we need this to build more colony ships. And ecosystem, this is going to be more population. Population means better industry, better production and such. Industry and, and uh, I call it... I always forget this word. So uh, industry and... Aka, aka, nope, I, I, it's gone. I just said it like three seconds ago and it's gone. Well, uh, this means more people and it's important. So this is for your planet. Everything else is more like killing the enemy, killing the enemy, researching to killing the enemy, to kill the enemy and help your planet. Uh, so I'm not going to put any points into technology right now. Uh, I'm going to do it after my industry has got, gotten up a little bit. And here you can switch between ships. There are a lot of ships to be hat uh, and uh, I'm gonna go over these a little bit later but what I want to start by doing is I would like to yep just go next turn and get the industry up okay 4.8 I'm gonna get it up to 5 before I start uh, creating people so now I'm sending everybody on a date I want people to meet their mate and have children so I can have more a bigger population in my number one planet. Okay, so Kailis uh, has 85. Really, I chose the one with 20. So now I can choose. I can either build my colony on this 20 people planet, which is hostile. Uh, I can build there because I'm silicoid. Every other person can't because they haven't researched this yet. But 20 isn't very good and it's gonna take me forever to build a new colony ship. So this is going to be hard. The other plan was better. I choose wrong. But um, I think I'm just going to build here. Because it also takes time to travel between. So number two is not going to be very good. But you know, you win some, you lose some. This is how this game goes. Oh, it's so pretty. We have such nice music right now. Little guy with his flag. Purple flag. Uh, Escalon. Nope. Two. Okay, okay, okay. So now we have two planets. Um... I want to see more planets, so I want to send my scout up to this white one. And I'm going to keep this scout right here, because I don't want to lose this 85 planet. Remember, scaring people away. This is actually, it actually works. Uh, I'm going to put more into the ecology. Ecology? No, I think it's wrong. Anyway, um, I'm putting something in the technology as well. And transporting some people to number two. Ecosystem. There we go. I knew I had it in my brain. Ecosystem. Yeah. Yeah. That's the word we're looking for. <laughs> Anyways. Um, as you remember, I want this planet here. This yellow one. It's mine. 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 So I need a colony ship. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Yeah. I'm gonna be hard on my industry. And I'm gonna put some points into ship. But as you can see, it's gonna take forever and ever and ever. Right now. So... 54, mm -hmm. I'm torn. Yeah, let's let's keep it at 74 and put something into the re research. Uh, this is uh, defenses, I like defenses. Um, this is range, we can either do 330 research points and have a four point range, or we can do 930 and have a five point range. Um, the good thing about silicoid is I can actually just build colonies. Unt uh, until where I want to go. So I don't need to range as much. I will be building colonies everywhere anyway. So I'm just going to do four. And then I have hand lasers. As this is ground combat. This is when somebody's attacking your planet. Or I have something for my ships. And I like 
something for my ships right now. But I need to take care of my research, and that's right here in tech. And as you can see, we have six different kinds of things. Uh, planetology, this is your ecosystem, yes. Um, it's important. So we want to have this, um, to put a little, a little bit of an emphasis on this one. And uh, construction, which is your industry, uh, we want some emphasis on this one as well. Uh, ground combat, it's not so important right now. Uh, computers, mm, yes and no, it's regarding your ships. So it has to do with um, a lot of things regarding your ships. I think shields are under here as well. Mm, yeah, I believe so. I'm not 100% sure. It's been a while since I played the game. But we don't want to put it too much down. Uh, range is not so important right now either. And weapons. This is generally, I always play weapons with like 25 to like 50% more than everything else. Because it is what is going to win the game for you. If you have the best weapons, then you kill them. It's... Yeah, it's pretty much like that. Even though your ships are slow or whatever, you still can kill them. So, mm, yeah, yeah, weapons, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, 12 points in my uh, research. And I didn't tell you about it. I'm sending, yeah, I'm sending people. I told you about it. Sending people down there. I'm putting like two people, two million people at a turn. The reason is I don't want this planet to feel it too much that I'm sending their people away. So if I send too many, they're going to take a hit. And I don't like that. I like it to be incremental. So I always do that like, like this, like two people, three, two people, like two through two million, three million or something like that. Yeah, and as you can see, my people are very good at dating. They have, have 54 now and we're increasing our population, which is very good. Um, I want to try to build my colony ship a little bit faster. 35 turns, okay. It's unfortunate that we chose the wrong planet, but I think, I think we still made the right choice with colonizing it. Okay, Ocean 55. This is good as well. This would have been a better choice as well. You can't always be sure about the white planets. Um, they are a little bit of a... What can you say? A lottery game. So, this is why I chose the green one. Normally, green one would be your best bet. Green or yellow. But you never know. You never know. So, let's just continue with this. Two million at a time. Mm, yeah. I'm just gonna keep it right, right like that. And this one still, it's, it's not doing anything really. So we just keep on putting people there and wait. Yeah, my scouts are actually occupied because they're <laughs> reserving planets. Uh, it's like when you go to the clothing store and you picked out too many clothes. It's just, you know, it's just hard. You don't have enough hangers and shit. Okay, um, 29 years, 29 turns, it's too long. Uh, uh, factory. More to factory, it's good. Mm. Deflected shields, this is good. Terraforming, this is gonna increase the population of your planets. And this is actually very good. Let's look at technology and planetology. Let's, let's give planetology like one point for more weapons. Oh, and one thing uh, I like. Uh, in this here window, you can actually reserve some money after each turn. And this money is like put into your savings account. And when you get into problems or something happens, this can be extremely useful. Like supernovas or somebody's attacking your planet and you need to build uh, defenses very, very quickly. It's very useful to have some savings. So like mommy said, save some money, you know, it's going to help you in the future. So I put some of my reserves into saving. Savings even. Okay, I'm going to do another turn. I'm waiting for that colony ship. 24 years. It went down by three years right now. This is because my industry is getting also faster and my population isn't increasing. So it all helps. It all helps to get the numbers down. And we like the numbers down. Lower numbers, faster production, more ships, more killing, faster killing. Like being the crazy, big, good warlord kind of a thing. Yep, we like this. We like this. And we actually, we're happy. We're very lucky with our precision. We're in the corner. If you look at the map, you can see our position is in the corner. This is good. That means nobody can come off, come to us from here, from down here. And we just uh, continue expanding. And if we run into somebody, we're just going to mm, kill them. Yeah, that's pretty much what we're going to do. And the bad thing is we have Cylon, the research gurus, gurus right here. And they're going to research like their heart out. And they're going to have the best weapons. So we must be careful about our weapons. And uh, Clacken, and they're the industry 
guys. They build fast, like build ships fast and things like that. And our good thing is that we can build planets extremely fast everywhere. Build planets everywhere. All the planets. Like, we want to have a lot of planets. So, yeah. Emphasis on colony ships. <laughs> the problem is we just need other things also for our colony ships. Um, to be able to build them, I mean. Uh, we have 12. And the max is 20. And this is 2-2. Two, two, so we have 16 in total. I don't think we should send any more over there. Let's just wait it out. Okay, 19. I want to take away from my industry. And... Lower my ship, also research, yeah, to 12. This is a little bit painful in the beginning, it's always painful. You want to build, you want to build, you want to do so many things and you don't have enough resources. But later on, when you see all the planets I'm gonna have, yep, it's gonna be amazing. 19, I mean 9, yep. Um, yep, one more time. Okay, let's see. Sometimes if we up the points, nothing changes. And then we just, we have to be careful about not putting too many points. So let's not, not like up it and then we're still gonna have six. As you can see, I can have a little bit less points and still keep the six. So I wanna do that because every point is, <laughs> every point is sacred in the beginning. It's important in the beginning, especially. Later on when we have 150 planets, nobody cares. But right now we care. Let's take a look at this one as well. It's still in 1.6 and well, it's nothing we can, there's nothing we can do about that except wait. We need to terraform, we need to get everything up. And it only has 20 people, 20 million people. And well, it's not gonna be a superstar, but it's a cute little planet and we own it. So we're gonna take care of it. Um, number one is just gonna have to do a little bit of uh, weightlifting right now, yep. As you can see, I could remove a little bit of points from ship to get into technology. It's important. We're against silence, so every point counts. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it at four. A little bit painful. S sometimes you can actually um, go to design and build a new colony ship. You have to do it from right here. You, you choose standard colony base. And you can build a smaller ship. A smaller ship will take shorter time to actually be built. So like now it's a large and it's gonna take a long time to be built, but if you could do medium and put colony ship here, which you can't right now because we don't have the technology, then that would be a better choice, but we can't do it right now. We just have to wait. Waiting is not my strong suit, but <laughs> sometimes you have to do it, especially in those turn-based games. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, everything as it is. Let's go. Two. See, it's so expensive to put it down to one that we're not gonna do it. Um, but I still, I would like a little bit more, uh, more people. So I'm gonna put my population to plus one right here. And you can see there's a three million increase every year. And now we can get some points back from the ship and I'm gonna put it into population as well. Yeah, because I think my terraforming is on the way, so. Ooh, colony ship, <gasps> colony ship. And I don't want to talk about terraforming right now. I want to talk about the colony ship and I'm sending it right there. Let's go. Okay, 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 okay. I feel a little bit better. When my colony ship lands, I can send my scout on to to, to look at other places. Um, I wanna, I wanna know. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it, uh, I'm gonna wait until my colony ship lands here. And then I'm gonna put more points into shape again. I'm actually gonna put it down a little bit, give it, give research a little bit of a boost. Yeah, I'm just gonna put it all the way down because I want that terraforming. Then I get, then I get the thirty for two and one hundred twenty million people for for one, and 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 I want that. I'm actually gonna get the industry some, give the industry a go as well. Yeah, I've been doing a little bit like too much of everything at the same time. But I think all of these things are <laughs> very important, so it's like, how do you want to play the game? Yeah. Anyway, we have a new planet with magical music and a little guy with his flag. It's always so nice. 23, 23. And we're gonna create number 3, so it's also poetic. Gailis. Dries. I like the little guy with his flag. He seems so happy. It's like claiming the land. This land is my land. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, and uh, what we want to do right now is we want to send people from both 
Pell and it's uh, this guy's very small. <laughs> So I think um, every other turn I'm gonna send from this guy because I'm sending like ten percent of his population away. It's rough, but I'm still gonna do it. I'm I'm evil. Yeah, I know. Uh, uh, so we need another colony ship. As you remember, this is what we do. We build colonies, and I can actually send more than two people from one. Let's send like five people. I have eighty-four million, so let's send five million. Except. Yeah, yeah. I'm anyways putting some reserves into population, so it's okay. I only went down by what four, three or four. Let's send four again. No, I'm just gonna leave that one like that. It is already sent two and it's down down to eighty. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is good. Weapon accuracy or robotic controls. This is good for fa factories. I think we're gonna do, yeah, we're gonna go with factories. I'm not building ships right now, so yeah, I'm gonna go with factories. I'm trying to just build very stable, good planets that can work later on and build everything fast. Because later we want everything and we want it fast. Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep it like that. And I'm gonna send some people there. I have 79. So, as you can see, this plant is already taking a hit from the population I'm sending away. Like, from the people I'm sending away. So, I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna do less now. I did 5, 4, and now 3. And let's see. Okay. So, so now they're, they actually have their full population. They've finished with their industry. So, they're putting everything into technology. I don't think that's a bad idea, actually. I think we should just keep technology... Uh, running on two and put from technology into the ship on one because it has a bigger industry it has more people and a bigger production like 181 against 48 so i i think technology is a good, good choice for two i'm just gonna keep seven years for the colony ship and this is 78 so three seems to be okay i'm gonna send, continue sending three million i want to get this plan going because i'm a little bit behind so this it has 85 people a million people in evil, even. And I'm gonna put the population up to 40 before I stop sending troops over there. Mm, yeah. Let's do that. Oh, let's see. Okay, now I'm up to two. Mm, yeah, I think I'm gonna use that advantage to send three people every turn. Yeah. Yeah, you see, I'm not even losing anything by sending these three million people. So, yeah, let's keep on doing that. Uh, my ship is down to five years. Oh, it's too uh, expensive to go to four. I'm just gonna keep it like that. My production, my industry is almost up to max, which is very good. So I'm just waiting for my terraforming. It should be coming in. I can actually check in right here. Planetology, 33%. As you can see, this this is um, these little uh, light bulbs here are gonna tell you how far the technology is along. So like how many points have been put into that technology. Right here, this light bulb is almost full, and when it's full, it's gonna count in percentages. So this ha already has a full light bulb, and it's up to 33 percentage. So it's almost finished. I would say like one or two turns, probably two turns. So uh, that's very good. And then this planet is going to get terraformed up to 110,000 million people, and this one up to 30. It's very good, very good. We like that. Oh, one turn. Very good. Or 25. I always choose 25. I don't want to put too much into terraforming, but I know it's important, so I don't want to put not anything. This is a double negative, but I don't want to choose this button. I want to choose 25%. So 25% of all my production is going to be put into terraforming. I like that. Uh, death spores. Um, yeah, this is a very evil weapon that's going to kill the people on the planet. <sighs> it has some negative effects so, effect, so I'm not a fan, but you know, it's okay. Because it sometimes it uh, like diminishes the possibility of population on the planet. So if you're gonna take that planet, which I normally do, I don't destroy planets. I take them, because you know I like people. I like things. I want more planets. So yeah, I'm not such a fan. Mm, I normally just send troops to the planet to take to try to take them, and then you need like good ground control, uh, like ground combat. Ugh, let's do it again. You need good ground combat people to take the planet. So you want to research that a little bit later on when you're trying to claim lands. 
Okay, 30 million. I have 6 million on the way. I'm just gonna put up those 4 million I was talking about. So I went like 40. So yep, yep. This is all good. Uh, 4 years to my ship. Yeah, uh, or or I just, you know, misclick and I have like uh, no years to my ship. Um, yeah. I can put it back here. I'm gonna put this back. It's, I had like one point in technology. Yeah, I think this is not so bad. Yeah, like this. Okay. Okay. Two is terraforming probably. Yep. This was done automatic automatically after the technology. So let's go. Four years. Two years. I like when this happens. Then it goes down by more than what I would expect. Um, yep. I'm not sending anybody. So I'm just gonna do another turn. And then I'm gonna take a look at number three. Uh, it's terraforming and 1.8. It's too low. We need like, let me see like four before we can do anything. So now it's just building to become a planet that is going to be usable later on. So a colony ship. Okay. Ocean. I seem to have forgotten to send my scout away to look at a planet. Do we know what's here? No, we don't. This is probably a good planet. Um, let's send it here. To the right one. And this was a 55 planet. Mm, this one is probably better. Uh, to begin, it's bigger. That normally means a better population. Uh, at least that's what I've uh, begun to assume after playing the game. And it's green, which also normally means a good planet. So we're going to send our colony ship right there, even though we know this planet is good. This is going to be our next planet. Uh, as you can see, green stars are moderately bright and have a wide range of planetary types. Mm, yeah, that's true. But still, like the best plants are almost always green or yellow. So let's see. And what I want to see is right here, uh, population. Mm, I'm thinking about if I should put more into the ship. No. Uh, now we're just gonna... This one is gonna grow. Now it has 2.4 in the industry, which is good. It's it's going up. This one is probably almost finished terraforming. We can see that by its tw it has 28 plus. It was going to go up to 30, so it only needs two more. This one is finished terraforming. Now it's just collecting more population. So we, we can lower that because this is gonna happen anyways. We can put more into ship, and I think that's a good choice right now since this is the only planet creating ships. Uh, six, yeah, good. Three, yep, everything is, it's everything is very good right now. Okay, improved industrial technology, factory construction, yep. Re reduction in the cost of factories. This is very good, in in the production, that's very good. Um, yeah, good. Let's see if we can get some points from here. Nope. Yeah, I think the production is probably almost finished on number one. That's gonna be good. Then we have all the points from that to do something else. So yeah, see the the green one I was counting on it has as eighty five. Yeah, this is um this is a normally a good bet. Two thirty three thirty eight. Good. And those are number four. Yep. Yes, now number one has finished with this industry. We don't need more right now. It's gonna do it later when we have more population and uh, we have more better technology. And that means that all our production is going to be very good. So let's see, three, yeah. Mm, I'm thinking about actually putting more into population, just getting this planet up to a very good start. And anyways, we need to be sending people up here. So I'm gonna start with like five million. Um. I want this plan to get going a little bit better before I send people from there. And this is only at 24, so I'm just going to use one for sending to four. I know it's a little bit crazy to just be using four, uh, one planet, but um, I think it's uh, a good way to go in the beginning. So let's see. I'm just going to continue with this. No, 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 no. This was a misclick. Uh, I have 90 still, so I'm just going to send four million over here again. I'm gonna use the same logic as before. I'm gonna go up to 40 or 50 percent with my troops and continue from there. And as you can see the industry is very low in the beginning so we just need to be patient. In the beginning it's all about building our planets, making them good, making the industry work, the populations 
grow and uh, just our empire rise. We're not building ships to begin with. Not unless we're building some like colony ships or something like that. So if we get a good infrastructure from the beginning, then it's so much easier to just destroy everybody. <laughs> yeah, this is our mission. We're gonna destroy everybody just to get that, <laughs> get that out in the open. I just want to get out of the closet with this. I want to kill the other enemies. I don't want to win by vote. I want to kill them. Okay, I want to be the only person left. Okay, yes, this is why I don't have any friends. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna stop now uh, and continue in the next episode. So that's all folks, until next time, Game Dimmer out.